Hello, I'm Fast Lawyer. I'm with Oculus Rift Reviews. Today we're going to review and play Captain 13 Beyond the Hero VR. Captain 13 Beyond the Hero VR is a game on the Steam Store and the Oculus Store for the Oculus Rift. Yes, that's right. This is an Oculus Rift exclusive on the Steam Store. <laughs> Uh, you do use touch controllers to control the ship in this game. Uh, I would describe this game as basically an Asteroids uh, nostalgia game for VR. You're basically in space and you're destroying Asteroids along the way to avoid damage. You need to pick up power-ups like fuel, uh, like magnets, um, turbo and avoid dangerous uh, things along the way such as uh, black holes of different colors that'll damage your ship. Um, I did enjoy playing this game. Uh, I found it fun to play. Uh, however, I encountered a couple of issues that uh, really keep me from totally recommending this game. Um, you're gonna see my playthrough that I actually uh, did pretty well. But what you're not seeing is some of the issues. So let me talk about uh, two of the issues that came up that you won't see in your gameplay. What you'll actually see, I believe, are black screens. And during those black screens is when I'm being kicked out of VR uh, or well, out of the game. And I'm being thrown back into the Oculus home waiting area. Sometimes I have to actually click on or get up the Oculus dash and click back on the game. Uh, using my touch controllers to get back into the game. Other times, I'm automatically uh, placed back in the ship after the loading time. So it, it varies. However, it does get annoying that every time you do a restart or go back to menu, you're, you're kicked off the game and taken back to the Oculus homepage. Um, that, that does get annoying and really takes you out of the immersion of the game every time that happens. Um, as you can see from the ship's HUD or, or panel. Game over. Game over. Ooh, there. I got destroyed there. Uh, I, I do have a better run later on. I do cl actually climb up all the way to number five on the leaderboard. That was uh, pretty exciting. So right now you're seeing a black screen. And what I'm seeing on the headset is that I'm actually being thrown back into the Oculus homepage. And then finally here I'm getting back to the actual game itself. <laughs> I did have fun in my in my gameplay, and I would love to recommend, but at $3.99, there's just too many issues for me to recommend it. And the gameplay is, although it is fun, it is kind of repetitive. So you see I got a magnet, you get money, uh, that's all good. Uh, I found the controls to be a little difficult, they're just a little too sensitive. So you really have to be careful with your touch controllers, basically moving your wrist. And I actually never touched the throttle. I don't know if you noticed that on my gameplay, but I never once touched the throttle. I pretty much keep it on the lowest possible setting and my ship still goes forward. I see no reason why you, why you ever pick up speed as the game's already pretty difficult, even going as slow as possible as far as destroying the, the crystals on the asteroids to get those power ups. That's basically the strategy of the game, avoid, avoid dangers shoot the crystals on the asteroids to get those pickups and just enjoy the ride and get a turbo so let's see if i get a turbo pretty soon oh that was a so you have to navigate around those dangers there um yeah once you get a turbo you go real fast and it's very difficult to see basically you just want to avoid dangers and go towards as close as you can to any pickups Hopefully you pick up fuel and repairs along the way. Those fuel and repair things are really what you're really going after. Even more than the money pickups. The money pickups are nice, but what you really want is those fuel pickups. And the magnets are nice, it makes the game easier. Definitely the fuel and the coin and the repairs that you want. The coin and the magnets are just bonuses. I'll get them if they're there, but I'm not going to go out of my way to get them. I don't like the fuel and the Sometimes you have to take risks to get them. Game over. Ooh, and, Game over. Yeah. That was a sudden death. And again, here, um, I'm having to restart uh, the game. And it kicks me off 
my VR headset. You're seeing black on your uh, viewing on YouTube, but I'm being kicked out of the game and into the Oculus homepage. It happens each and every time. Whether you go, it's I think it's worse when you, if you click on menu. Uh, when you start up the game, the same thing happens. So the key to playing, if you own this game, the key to playing it, start the game. You're gonna be kicked out. Magnet activated. Uh, open up your Oculus Dash panel, click back on the game, and you'll be back on the game. So this is my playthrough where I got uh, number five, up to number five on the leaderboard. So, uh, this was definitely a very fun run for me. And if this is all I experienced in the game, I would have definitely recommended it, even at $3.99. With all the other issues and the fact that it is quite a little bit repetitive, I just can't remember, recommend it at the $3.99 price point. I think it's too high. Uh, first of all, the issues, those two issues I mentioned need to be fixed. And it should have been probably be priced at uh, $1.99. I think that's a better price point for this game. Uh, but it is fun. So I found it in a bundle. Um, I actually bought this game on Indie Gala, uh, so it came out to about 50 cents. Um, and uh, yeah, I, I definitely had my 50 cents worth of fun on this game already. I, I think my total play time is, mm, I want to say 47 minutes. So somewhere between 45 minutes and one hour is my play time. Um, so I definitely got my 30 minutes worth of entertainment. I don't think I'll play the game again. I think I got all that I want out of it and this last run here that I did of the game uh, definitely I left the game on a high note and that's how I want to remember it <laughs> so yeah I don't think I'll be playing it again there's just not enough there to really want me to play it again although I am happy I played it uh, so yeah I do definitely do recommend it if you find it in a bundle or for 99 cents or less if you're willing to put up with the bugs that I mentioned because it is, it is fun. I remember what it is. Uh, I remember playing Asteroids when I, when I was uh, a kid. It, I'm not that old, but at that time, uh, uh, this was one of the first games I could play with Asteroids. Right? And I was really super young, like barely any memory, but I do remember having played Asteroids. And, yeah, uh, I knew at that time, you know, more modern games existed. Uh, Probably the, the game in my childhood that I remember the most was Super Mario Brothers. But even then, you know, stuff like Asteroids existed, Kong. So I definitely knew people who had those games and then played them as a kid. And you know, it was fun. So uh, in VR, obviously, it's a lot better. Uh, and this has the potential to be a great game if the controller just polished up a bit and the errors were taken away. Maybe add a little bit more gameplay elements than, than this. Uh, it would be a fun game. Speed boost and as you can see, I'm just getting lucky here, getting all the right pickups, getting those repair and those fuel ones. I was surprised with the, the amount of portals available that take you to different worlds. I did not expect this game to have that much content. So as far as that goes, it's just that it's a little too repetitive. Um, as you can see, I'm heading to another portal right now to take me to a different world. Although, I'm saying different worlds, but they kind of look the same. There, there's very little differences. Like, this one is, is tinted red. That's a different world, but it's pretty much the same. <laughs> so I don't know if that counts as more content. Uh, I would have appreciated a different type content. You know, some twist on the gameplay as you go along. Magnet activated. I think a good idea for this game uh, would have been like missiles added as you go along or each time you go through a portal you go just a little bit faster. Uh, I think the throttle idea didn't really work because again I have it on the lowest possible setting. There, there's no incentive uh, to increase speed. Uh, when you increase speed, the only thing that happens is that you lose fuel faster and you do go faster. But that just gives you less time to destroy asteroids, less time to uh, properly navigate your ship so that you're picking up the pickups that you want and you're avoiding uh, the bad things you don't want to pick up. So 
going fast, there's no incentive to do so. But, um, so I don't know why it's there. It seems like an odd inclusion in the gameplay. Uh, so I, I didn't understand that. Uh, I never, I never once touched the throttle during my entire gameplay, other than lowering it to the to the very uh, lowest possible speed, and then never touching it again. Background noises, I do mute the mic so you don't hear those background noises. Uh, there's a plane right now flying over uh, my place. <laughs> uh, I, I really had fun during this run. It, it was uh, pretty exciting going this far. I had never gone this far before in the game. Uh, all my earlier runs, the first I got gotten was getting past one portal. So it was really amazing to uh, go through as many portals as I did in this game. Uh, make it all the way to number five on the leaderboard, uh, but that probably tells me that there's not a lot of people have played this game more than anything else. Or if a lot of people played it, none of them played it for very long. So I'm probably one of the people. Who've, I'm, even though I'm number five on the leaderboard, I'm probably uh, number five as, as far as time played in the game as well. So it's, I wouldn't consider it a big accomplishment. <laughs> but yeah, it, it, it was fun, uh, especially if anyone's ever played Asteroid. Uh, fun uh, seeing it now in VR and seeing a modern take on it. Uh, it's pretty cool. Magnet and uh, I wish I could recommend this game. Uh, if I had an experience with issues, I probably would. Uh, even at the $3.99 price, I probably would have given it a 5 out of 10. It's just that, you know, it's overpriced, but it's fun. Uh, so buy it on sale. But with some bugs, I just can't recommend it, e even on sale. Uh, so my recommendation is, if this looks fun to you, and if you're willing to overlook the issues I mentioned in my review, then go ahead and buy it on sale. That's my recommendation. So that's not much of a recommendation, but that, that that's better than nothing. So uh, in the end, I'm gonna have to score this a four out of 10. Uh, you know what? I'm actually gonna give it a 4.5 out of 10. I think 4.5 out of 10 is, is more deserving. I hardly ever give 4.5 out of 10, uh, but I'm gonna do it in this case, just cause it, yeah, I was close to recommending it just cause she's, the game stopped me from doing so uh, because I definitely had fun, but I'm definitely also never gonna play it again, and, and I really doubt at this point it's gonna get uh, updated and fixed. So, pretty much what you see is what you get, and just expect the issues I mentioned in my review uh, with getting kicked to the Oculus homepage and uh, the game suddenly uh, spawning, not spawning asteroids to give you pickups. So, be aware of those issues that happen. Again, to fix the issue with the asteroids, just uh, quit the game and restart. Caution. Ship in critical condition. At this point, I was just hanging on by a, a needle. Uh, by a thread, uh, I was surprised I survived as long as I did with such so little health. And at this point, I'm like low on health Caution. and low Ship on low fuel. fuel. I didn't think I'd be last that much longer, and I was surprised by how long it went after this. Caution. Uh, I'm still alive in this game. Uh, <laughs> I kind of just want to show that I made it to number five on the leaderboard. So excuse me for the long review. I could probably cut it short a bit, but. <laughs> I'm kind of proud Caution. of my achievement, <laughs> so if you don't mind, I'm gonna show all the way to the end and show my Magnet place on the leaderboard that I uh, earned, I think. Ah, uh, there you go. So that was my score, and you can see I made it all the way to number five. I'm Fast Lawyer, I'm with Oculus Rift Reviews. Thank you for watching, have a wonderful day, goodbye.